Hello and welcome to the Medics Commentary. Doses of the gameplay of rejection of thoughts, critique, and advice. My name is Bluegill75. I got at least one more clip of Evolve to show you. This is still from the still from the beta weekend. I don't have the press copy, I'm afraid. I w really wish I did. I want to keep playing this game. But uh just kinda mixing it up, throwing a different game. Like yeah, Parnell does look like a space marine, the the guy in the red armor. Parnell's the assault. Tier 3, and I don't know him all that well. He was a pre-order bonus if you played the beta. I think he sacrifices damage for... Sacrifices health for damage. Something like that. I don't know him all that well. And Bucket's looking for him. He takes his head off and his hits a little helicopter once he finds the monster. If he stays on target long enough, then he's able to track him, shoot a tracking dart, and we'll be able to see where he is. Just you have to be really careful for the monster, the creatures around the area because you can't go reckless and kill everything in your path. Because if the monsters being sneaky, then they can just follow your path and eat them, eat the monsters. The interesting thing about Lazarus is Lazarus. I'll sh I'll get to that later on in the video. Well, I right here actually. I thought instead of letting this be food for the monster, you can revive just about anyone. So I figured just. Especially for uh, albinos as well, because once you get your buff from the killed albino, you can revive it. And it seems that if you kill the albino again, it looks like they still have their buff, but they actually don't. So if the monster goes for all that trouble to kill, say, a big monster, and the buff's gone, I think it was a bug, but it seems to work for the most part. At this point, just trying to stay together, this one was an albino. I thought Parnell and I would try to go after this one. But what was going on was that our trapper got too close to the water, and there was a giant monster in there. And the big monsters take no time to eat you, so if you have no one to help you with, help you with escaping, then you're dead in less than five seconds. That's how bad it is. And you have to be very, very careful where you walk, because there are monsters that can... Even the plants can eat you. And I'll, I'll cross paths with them later on. Yeah, I was right but I figured... That's right where I died. What I learned from this, you'll come to see. If you if your allies get eaten, you can't revive them. What the if the if the trap wasn't eaten, what would have been was be that animal eats me. Yeah, they get eaten, then you cannot revive them. You cannot revive a half eaten corpse. Now it looks like that they were in the water from their gear. But I uh I got the monster to aggro and they went after me and there goes the monster right by there. That was stupid play. So I went. I was on respawn for about a minute and a half. It's quite a long time. They might readjust that for the release candidate. Yeah, we're on but the uh, support and the assault was able to hold on long enough for the trapper and the medic to come back. So at this point, monster is at stage two, I believe. Yeah, and Bucket was able to track the monster. So that icon with the paw print. That's where the monster is, so we're able to get back on track anyway. And those are carnivorous plants. It's a pretty good thing, you just have to shoot them, then they die. But you can get stuck in them, and you can be devoured by plants. So you have to be very careful where you walk. Where this was a cold map, like a winter map, it was a little easy to track them down. And I'm not sure why they were killing all the big monsters, because it's not completely necessary. I kind of get it. I think you like some achievements you get by killing amount of things. But I figured I would do us a favor and revive that big monster so that the monster wouldn't eat it and wouldn't regain back its shield. It's at level 2 right now. It can evolve twice into level 3 and they get stronger and they get stronger abilities. It's kind of like a MOBA base. They have four abilities like the hunters do. It depends on the character and the monster though. Where Lazarus can only heal with that burst, the Lazarus device can only be used on someone who's down or dead. So it's not a big hurry if someone's down, but if they get eaten, then I cannot revive them. Like, there's nothing I can do. So finally, we got some level 3 monster play, which is good Good gameplay on everybody's part. I did a big mistake by getting eaten earlier. However, at this point, I'm trying to look after my teammates by staying a decent distance. But seeing this buff here, I tried to pick it up and get away. This... Increase item switch and reload by 50%, so it will recharge my items, my Lazarus device, my healing burst, 
by 50%, so it's a nice little boost to have, just standing off with this monster his Armor's gone, and just looking around, it's a little risky to get around, and Daze is not entirely necessary to revive, I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna make a big risk for it, but the monster is hovering over Daisy pretty much, and figured while he was busy doing that, I tried to revive Daisy, but what happened was, it revived the albino that was next to them, and then the trapper killed him again. However, what happened, I kinda, that kind of threw me off there. So, Daisy kind of got doomed there, and the trapper was picking up the support there. And the nice thing about Cloak is that if the monster tries to go after you for reviving people, they can do it that way. But I did manage to get Daisy at the very least and keep our progress going. But you, when you're playing Lazarus, you have to stay out of the way. Kind of like play a loner, stay in the distance until if you're nearby your allies, they come near. Give them a healing boost, but. Use the healing boost for yourself. I think my perk was I was regenerating health, like 15 health every so often. Yeah, a little bit of health regeneration. Just keep an eye on the icons and making sure that the monster doesn't eat anybody. So the skulls mean that my allies are down, but they're not dead. Anybody can pick them back up, and that's an invisible wall. I can't do it that way. So being careful not to get... Yeah, the monster did get me. And where I died once before, I had that ray, so my max health is lower. So just trying to avoid the monster and try to get everybody back up. And if the monster gets too close, I can pop cloak like I just did here. And just staying quiet. However, I can, as you see from the cloak, when that bar goes down, if you shoot, it doesn't cancel your cloak completely. You just have to not attack for a second, then it reapplies for the ability's duration. However, just, what do you do here? Like, do you try to, trying to get, leave some weak spots for my allies to use, the ones who are alive anyway. But the monster's just taking everybody out, left and right and center. So having that ability, that cooldown reduction, really, really does help. And with my teammates being dead, it's not a big deal. No need to worry, I can just revive them back, get out of there, heal myself if I need to, and cloak if the monster gets too close. So even though people are falling down left and right and center, not that big of a deal. So what you see there on the dead allies, that's how much time you have until their body is is uh, dead for too long. Because it gets to a point where you cannot revive them, so you kind of have to act when they're down. It's not a big deal, but when they're dead, once that blue bar runs out, then you cannot revive them at all. So you can't wait for too long. You have to act quick while you can. And it's just getting crazy just using my Lazarus device time and time and time again. And starting to get the monster, but his armor starting to regenerate as well. And he could have gone after me more, tried to take me out, but what I was doing was just trying to stay out of the way as much as possible. And when I have health regen, and like a healing burst, because I'm not too concerned with healing my teammates because I can just revive them. They, don't, they won't get a penalty for being revived by me. But they have to be revived by my device. It's not just me, just I have to use my device to bring them back with no penalties. That's that's kind of the risk. Where the device usually takes quite a while to charge up. I have that boost, which I think really turned the tide of this battle here. Just stay on the way to monster. Finding a good high place to to fight from. And then just when I see my teammate fall down, pop cloak, make sure it's safe to go in. The monster's got his back to me. And just get this guy healed up, deal with that. Even though the monster pushed me back, I was still able to revive the trapper in time and support and assault, dealing all that damage and taking him out pretty quick. I thought I tried to, try to revive manually, but my device is ready. Pop that. Yeah, I seem to be focused on trapper the most when he should have been focused on me the most. And we managed to get the monster that way. So level 3 monster for you, just kind of give you an idea how it works. Someone who knows monster... Hey, you're a really good medic. Thank you. <laughs> Someone who knows how to play monster is really scary. But I, I'm i quite comfortable with Lazarus. I don't think he's going to be changed too much in the release version. I'm just waiting for the game to be out. I'm, this is a game I'm excited about. I just kept on focusing, man. I mean, stupid. Yeah. You kind of have to take out Lazarus or else he'll just keep reviving people like I was doing there. So it is something to consider.
Nice, nice. Oh, I've been waiting for that. So, that was pretty tricky. You kind of have to balance damage and healing. But her healing's not great, and she can't revive as well. Lazarus is kind of... Yeah, so that was Lazarus on Distillery with my teammates, uh, Maggie, Bucket, and Parnell going against Goliath. So that's all for now, until February anyway. Thanks very much for watching.